lab guy here. Let's revisit these Cartravision tape recorders. I need to weigh and measure them for shipping. So since I'm back here and I didn't like the last video I made, it was uh, deficient in information, let's try it again. Seventy six pounds. Seventy six pounds. So this was a homemade cabinet that I obtained from a fellow who was local here in Silicon Valley, San Jose, California. Let's open those front doors and have a look. Here it is with the front open. And let's look at these controls. On the left, you have first the selector switch. It has monitor, record, and off. These were modes that would operate when this was inside of a television cabinet. Usually these were bundled with a 25 inch color TV. And they were sold by several manufacturers through Monkey Wards, I mean Montgomery Wards, and Sears. Uh, they didn't sell very many of the machines. So, the next uh, button down is the timer manual switch and uh, it had very primitive timer recording. You could dial the timer for up to eight hours before your show came on. So you actually had to know what time it was, how many hours till the show started and then the machine would automatically start it would record till the tape was full and stop. Then down here we have a control called lock which no doubt is the tracking control and on the other side of it is the skew control. In a video tape recorder skew is the tape back tension. This is the tension that is put on the take up re on the feed reel as the tape is fed into the scanning drum and it has to be the same tightness on playback as it was on record. There will always be a temperature change and the tape will change size physically and so this control allows you to adjust the tension so that you don't get that bending effect at the top of the picture. Some TVs would bend, most would just roll. Here we have the cassette bucket, and it is literally called the bucket. The tapes would go in there, and uh, there are, in here, there are two hubs. There, one is on top of the other, because the two tape reels are stacked. When the cassette was inserted, the part with the tape is facing upward. We can't see it because of this cover, but the scanner is in there, and it's big. I'll insert some still photos here. So, moving over, we have the tape recorder off-on switch, right here, and the previously mentioned controls from the other video. You have fast forward, stop and record, and for 
rewind you would turn the switch to here to the left and if you wanted to fast forward you would push the fast forward button and turn the switch to the left and to play you turn the switch to the right or you push record and turn it to the right to record and that pretty much takes care of the front of a Cartravision VCR looking into the back of the machine you can see the electronics assembly which contains the circuit boards for the system power supply I don't know the functions of each board intimately because I've never gotten that deep into these these are relatively difficult to work on as you will see in a moment so this is called the fish tank because of its shape let me pull it out and show you so to pull the fish tank we unhook these two large connectors and the fish tank comes out down inside it contains a power transformer voltage regulators the usual schmear so we're now looking inside at the back of the mechanism and as you can see it is one busy monster let me uh, point out the highlights of which I'm certain and I'll just have to leave the rest of it to your imagination first is the main motor this turns the capstan and when engaged the take up and feed reels in the cassette these gears here are meshed by a solenoid and are part of the threading system or as I like to call it the finger guillotine this thing has enough torque that if your fingers are in there when those threading arms come out there are places where it's just like scissors and it will cut your finger off and I mean off <laughs> so be careful um, then there is this motor this is a printed circuit motor abbreviated PC motor and because it's a flat motor it's called a pancake motor this is attached to the the head scanner which has three heads it spins at 10 revolutions per second 600 revolutions per minute one head records only it records a field skips the next field skips the next field and then records the fourth field it essentially records every third field field one field four field seven etc on one pass it records an, an odd field then it records an even field but there's a gap of two fields between on playback all three heads are engaged and a head b head and c head each play the a track recording three times and then the next track has come around and it does it again due to fancy diddling of the head azimuth that is the they're not precisely on 120 degrees relationship this results in a slight offset of horizontal sync in the vertical so that that even field that's being played three times the next head is offset a little so that this the vertical sync is offset and this causes a pseudo interlace effect in the television so that the lines of the of this single field are interlaced with themselves the horizontal oscillator in the TV never liked that and that's where you get a lot of flag bending with these these really tear it up they nicely color coded the connectors red green and blue and we'll hook these back up this made a service in some ways from a television repairman's point of view was much easier for instance he could come to your house if you had an electronic issue you could pull the fish tank and take it back to the shop where you would have a second deck and he could troubleshoot the fish tank without taking an entire 25 inch console color television with him those things are heavy and this concludes my second tour of the no it doesn't <laughs> one final thing the connectors down here you have audio in and out you have camera input with power and a 60 cycle reference output and this phone jack is the remote start stop switch I'm pretty sure
I don't know if this jack is original or not. Probably. But I don't know that for a fact. And these uh, were made, I, I said in the earlier video that these were made in 69 and 70. They were not. They were, it was 70 to 72. Nin, that's 1970 to 1972 for you people in the far future. So there it is, another look at the Cartravision machines. Until next time, Lab Guy out.